The Big Island of Hawaii contains four active and dormant volcanoes which have each erupted at some point in the last 10,000 years. Despite being the most active of the island's volcanoes, Kilauea is not the youngest volcano in the long Hawaiian island and Emperor Seamount chain which stretches all the way to the Aleutian Trench. Rather, a volcano which is formerly known as Loihi is the chain's youngest volcano which has a summit located at a depth of 975 meters or 3,199 feet below sea level. On July 16th, at 2 a.m. local time, this volcano began producing an unusual swarm of earthquakes. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory soon detected seismic tremor marked by pulses of activity approximately four times a minute. The following day, a secondary swarm of two dozen earthquakes occurred with magnitudes ranging from between 1.8 to 3.0. These were too small to be felt on the mainland but did indicate volcanic activity at depth. These quakes were likely caused by the movement of magma where the intrusion of material exerts pressure on overlying rock until it cracks or fails, generating a quake. Although it might seem like an eruption is about to occur, signs are actually not pointing towards a new eruption. With this being said, magma is moving underneath the volcano. As a result, the volcano formerly known as Loihi, which is now called Kamaeoa Kanaloa, had its alert level remain unchanged at unassigned. This alert level means that not enough instrumentation exists in the volcano to give an accurate interpretation of the volcano's true state of unrest, but it is also not erupting. A similar designation is given to certain remote volcanoes in the Aleutian island chain, such as both Davidov and Mount Amukta. Magmatic intrusions commonly occur at volcanoes around the planet, and 9 times out of 10 generally do not result in an eruption. For context, Loihi has been erupting at a relatively high rate for between 100,000 and 150,000 years. This is in comparison to Kilauea, which has been erupting for 280,000 years. Although Loihi may not look like much, it is a very tall volcano. From the deep sea floor, it rises about 3,000 meters or 10,000 feet, meaning that if it were to have started at sea level, it would be about three quarters the height of Mauna Loa. Just like Mauna Loa, Loihi has a lengthy rift zone which stretches for 31 kilometers or 19 miles. The entire length of the rift zone has been the site of numerous volcanic eruptions which over time have constructed a volcano with a volume of 1700 cubic kilometers. At its summit is a 3 by 4 kilometer wide caldera which contains numerous pit craters. One of these pit craters formed during Loihi's last eruption which occurred in 1996. That eruption created a brand new 600 meter wide and 300 meter deep pit crater called Pele's Pit. For comparison, Pele's Pit is somewhat similar to the Kana Kakoi Pit Crater at Kilauea, except it is 16% longer and about 5 times as deep. These features form after fissures and cracks propagate upwards, resulting in overlying rock filling in underlying voids. In addition to the sudden formation of this crater, we know that Loihi erupted that year due to an unusually intense series of earthquakes it produced. Whereas the current earthquake swarm produced 24 quakes over a 5 hour time span, in 1996 an earthquake swarm occurred with more than 4,000 earthquakes, more than 3 dozen of which were above magnitude 4. Although Loihi will one day climb above the ocean surface, it will not happen in our lifetimes. Depending on the source, it will climb above sea level sometime between 50,000 and 200,000 years from now. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Emily and Tomzen for supporting this channel.